I know Cadenza advised me not to tell Lawrence. But this is Garth we're talking about. The timing is horrible. But him not knowing just doesn't feel right. I don't know how to tell him. Well, that's the easy part. You can go with, I've got a bun in the oven. Or there's always, surprise, the stork came to visit. <coughs> Caitlin, Garth is a grown man. I doubt he'd ever believe that. Hey, you never know. Stranger things have happened. <laughs> Come on, Caitlin. I'm being serious. How do I tell him that I'm pregnant with Aaron's baby? And that I'm still really confused and trying to figure out how I feel about this. I've just started to make my peace with Aaron's death. Then that horrible imp showed up and I find out I'm having his baby. I know. It isn't easy. But we have to go back to Phoenix Drop. Besides, Garth is already there with the others. You'll have time to tell him once we get there. <sighs> yeah. You're right. Hey, don't worry. <laughs> I'm here for you, Afmel. You'll always have me. And you thought this was the time to tell me? Right after we found out that my mother is about to be executed by that witch who seems to have it out for you. The same woman, by the way, who is terrorizing the countryside. Garth, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was pregnant and I didn't know how to tell you. You're sorry. That's great. Were you ever going to tell me, or were you just going to keep lying to my face? I didn't know what I wanted. I've been worried about Lawrence and everything going on with Ivy, and I just, I- You do realize what you're saying, right? That I'm just an afterthought in everything else going on in your life. How long did it take before you'd forgotten about me? Garth, no, that's not what I meant. I- <sighs> This is all coming out wrong. I feel like I'm just making this so much worse. You think? Please, try to understand. What am I supposed to do then? Just say everything is fine and pretend this never happened? No, I... I don't know. Everything you've said to me, did you even mean it? Or were you just lying to me this whole time? No, that's not... Garth, wait! For what? For you to make up some reason for this to be okay? This whole time, I was waiting for you. You moved on. Forget about me. The thought of you kept me going when I was fending off Zane. All those moments under the tree were those lies too. I would go to the ends of the earth and back for you. I would die for you. And now I don't know what it means, if it means anything. I was such an idiot. I didn't realize he would take it so badly. I should have known better. I feel horrible. And now he's run off to Akasis by himself to save his mother from that monster. I hate to admit that anyone's better than me, but Garth is the strongest of us. If anyone can sneak in and bust Lady Romave, it's him. You've seen how powerful she is. She must know we'll try something. And Ocasus crawling with Tula's soldiers. He knows Ocasus like the back of his hand. Besides, he has a relic now. You saw how easily he held off Lawrence when he threatened you. 
he'll be fine. Besides, one person has a much better chance of slipping in unnoticed. <laughs> unnoticed? The lost son of Ocasus. Yeah, right. I need to go to him. He needs my help. Afmal, that is not an option right now. The situation is too risky. There are too many variables at play for you to chase after Gareth. Plus, I really don't think he wants to see you right now. <sighs> Give him some time to process this. But you didn't see him. He was so hurt and angry. I need to make this right. I just got him back and everything's been so hectic. But you've been talking to Gareth. I've seen you two joking around. I know it sounds weird, but I've been scared to have a real conversation with him. I mean, we talk all the time, but not about feelings. It's just... I wasn't able to find any signs of Lawrence. Garth looks to be heading to Ocasus. That's odd. Why would he left without saying anything? Vlad, I need you to go after Garth. Can you track him? Yes. But I don't like this. It's risky leaving you exposed at this time. Especially with two of your guards gone. Ivy is clearly trying to bait you with his execution announcement. We shouldn't ask rashly. I won't leave her side. If anything gets close to her, I'll punch it into a thousand... Tiny pieces. Fine. I'll go find Garth. Take care of her. I... I don't think I could handle it if anything happened to him as well. I've already lost Aaron. I can't lose Garth too. We have to help him. We'll find a way, without getting you in danger. I'm not used to having people take care of me. Afmal, you've done so much for all of us. Let this be the time you let down your walls and let us help you. <laughs> what about your walls, Caitlin? You've seen me at my lowest before. Trust me with yours. Besides, the what walls? <laughs> Caitlin. I can't believe it. After all we've been through, I've been her guard, her shield. I've been there for her from the beginning. And she just throws me away? Did she ever care? I remember the first moment I saw her so clearly. I knew then that I wanted to protect her from every threat, keep her safe and loved. <sighs> Gara, thank you so much! Oh my gosh! It's only been a couple of weeks since I've been out the Irene Dimension. The world was so different. I just didn't think she would have changed. Where was the girl I fell in love with? If this is a dream, then I'm going to take the chance to do this. <laughs> I should have talked to her sooner. I waited too long. I wanted to, but after everything she'd been through, I didn't want to push her too hard. I didn't want to make it about me. <laughs> like it mattered. She's already moved on. Good. I'll hold him off. Garth? This is my fault. I should have known better. Lord Afnab, I love you. Now go. Be with someone who deserves you. Garth! 
like, no, I can't leave you behind. Gah. Oh, why can't I stop thinking about her? Oh, stop thinking about it. Now is not the time. Oh, I need to focus on how I'm going to save my mother. S stop it, please. We need to get home. <laughs> oh yeah? We'll let you go. Just as soon as you hand over the money, kid. But, but, this is our money. We worked hard for it and Ma needs it. Leave my brother alone, you, you bullies. You have no right to take our money. Ha, sure feels right to me. What are a couple of snot-nosed brats gonna do about it? Now hand over the coin. Ha 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 You shouldn't have done that, you little brat. Leave them alone. Looks like some idiot wants to get himself killed. Happy to oblige. Now things are getting interesting. A good beating always makes stealing from peasants more fun. I'm having a really bad day. So, I'm going to give you one chance. Walk away now. What a joke. Now we're gonna kill you and your new little friends. If I ever see you two around here again, it will be the end of you. Do you understand me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, you'll never see us again. Uh, no problem, nope, never. Are you okay? Oh, that was amazing. You sure showed them. Uh, yeah, we're okay. Th thank you, mister. You're welcome. Now get home safe. You don't want your mother to worry. Oh, and you. Yeah? You did a great thing standing up to those men. Keep being brave. You'll make a fine guard one day. Take care, and make sure he doesn't get into too much trouble. Mm-hmm. Uh, come on, let's go. Uh, Ma's waiting for us. I can't wait to tell her what happened. I'm gonna be a guard! I'm gonna be the best guard in the whole world! Mom... What am I going to do? I've got to find a way to save her. What was that? Hello, Garoth. You know my name? Wait. A wyvern? Wait! Raven! Yes. Raven! It's so good to see you! You can talk? Oh, this is spectacular! When did you learn to talk? I've always been able to talk. You weren't able to hear me until now. But how? The relic? What are you doing here? How did you even find me? And how did you get so huge? Much has changed in your absence, but our bond remains. I sought you out once I felt your presence back in this realm. A wyvern's debt is no small matter. Raven, you don't owe me anything. You're my friend. Friend? Wyverns do not make friends. Regardless, I have come to fulfill my debt to you. Like I told you, you don't... Hmm. Raven, may I trouble you for a ride? Of course. Where are we going? Ocasus. Very well. Are you ready? Absolutely. So, 
you're telling me you could talk this whole time? 